and thanks for dropping by to have a look at the video. Here we are, game four of the 1976 Home Internationals, and we have England hosting Northern Ireland. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the table, we'll play the game out, and then we'll compare it to the game back in 1976, which I've managed to dig out a little bit of footage. So the best thing we can do is go over to the pitch, play the game out, and uh, as I normally say, let's get on with it. And the two teams take to the pitch. England led by their captain Jerry Francis and Northern Ireland by theirs Pat Jennings. England's first game was a 2-1 victory against Wales with goals coming from Pearson and an own goal from Thomas. Northern Ireland's first game was a tough 0-0 draw against Scotland. So this is sure to be a tight match. It'll be interesting to see which team comes out on top. And the teams, for England, in goal Clements, and back four of Mills, Thompson, Todd and Greenhoff. In midfield, Kennedy, the captain Francis and Taylor, with the front three of Keegan, Pearson and Shannon. And for Northern Ireland, in goal, the captain Jennings, and back four of Nicol, Hunter, Nelson and Rice, and midfield five of McCreary, Clements, McElroy, Cassidy, and Hamilton, and the lone striker will be Spence. And it's Northern Ireland to kick off, kicking from right to left in the first half. And first chance of the game for Hamilton. Oh, that's a good block. The shot was on target, and that's a solid defensive block there by Thompson. He's Taylor wide on the left. That's a through ball. Looking for Francis. Francis from distance. Oh, that's a good effort. And wide of the upright, and I think Jennings did have it covered. Here's Francis, and that's looking for Taylor on the edge of the area. Taylor, oh he drags his shot wide of the upright. A poor effort really. And there's Taylor with the throwing wide on the left. And that finds Francis. Francis, and a shooting opportunity. Francis, oh great block there. Clements taking up an excellent defensive position on that near post. It's Taylor with the corner. Comes in. Oh, that's a great header by Pearson, but blocked by Hunter. As we approach half time, Spence on the edge of the area. He plays across to Hamilton. Hamilton with a good chance. Oh, it's there! It's 1 0. The deadlock has been broken. Hamilton with a five finish pass, Clements. And at the half time interval, Northern Ireland lead England by one goal to nil. And England get the second half underway. Here's Shannon in midfield. This is a surging run. Shannon, oh, that's a good block. I think that was on its way in. It's Clements, wide on the right. That's a lovely crossfield ball, looking for McElroy. McElroy. He's in on goal, there's a good chance. McElroy, oh, great save by Clements. And McElroy, it's the post with a rebound. Here's Cassidy in midfield. That's a through ball, looking for McCreary. McCreary! And that's a superb block there by Greenoff. Here's Taylor, wide on the left. He plays the ball forward. Kennedy running onto this. Oh, he's dropped the shot wide of the post again. Another shot that doesn't bother Jennings. Goalkeeper by Jennings. Nickel. Nickel advancing through midfield. He's played the ball wide, looking for Hamilton. Hamilton. Inside to McCreary. A great chance. Oh, what a goal! What a finish by McCreary! 2-0, that could be game over! As we move into the last minute of the game, McCreary with a crossfield ball looking for Hamilton. Hamilton takes the ball on. Hamilton, oh, a good save there by Clements. Pushes the ball wide, keeps the score at 2-0. And at full time, it's a comfortable 2-0 victory for Northern Ireland. The final score, England nil, Northern Ireland 2. Northern Ireland's goals from Hamilton and McCreary. That result sees Northern Ireland leapfrog Scotland and England to go top of the table on three points. Scotland and England on two points, with Wales on one point. Kennedy. Mills. Matthew 
useful. Comes to Francis. Must be now it! Nicely built attack. And England have got the breakthrough. Bill Taylor applauds. Tom Reamy doesn't move a muscle, but he knows how important that goal must be. Scored by the England skipper. A good move this. A nice ball by Mills forward for Shannon. The touch for Francis running in on it. Round the goalkeeper. And poking it home. Nelson across the back with any of Shannon. That's nice. And it's a penalty. No doubt in the referee's mind. Tortuous one. And Cassidy looking dejected. Came in, Shannon in control of the ball, and no doubt at all that that was a penalty. And it's Ben Shannon who's going to take it against Ben Jennings. And very comfortable too, nothing. And the whole complexion now has changed. Ben Jennings going the wrong way. Thirty yards away. Now they're a bit closer. Perry, nice touch to McElroy from Cassidy. Good try. Good play between the three of McCurry, Cassidy, and McElroy. Prepared to hit it first time. McCurry's little touch. The first time ball through the gap. McElroy running onto it, taking it in his stride, hitting with the right as Clements came out and wide of the far post. Kennedy. Keegan making a run out to the left. He might well be playing quite a bit for the rest of the game. Setting up the grass, Pearson, uh, Taylor rather. Kennedy! Good save, Pearson! Pearson picking up the rebound. Pat Jennings looking very disappointed. And so, Stuart Pearson gets his first goal for England. Pick up the rebound, it was Taylor who knocked it back. Kennedy battling for it with Clements. As it came off Pat Jennings, Pearson poking it wide of the prostrate goalkeeper. Chon. Massive England players forward, Pearson and Francis in each other's way. Well won by Chon. Keegan, Shannon, Paul. His second move started by Todd, ended by Ben Shannon. And England now got one better than the Scots. Good battling there by Todd. Here's the cross. Keegan. The first effort, and then it came wide to Shannon, who took his time, let Jennings dive past him, and then put it again behind the keeper. The Irish players on the 18-yard line. Cassidy being policed by Colin Todd. The action of a winning team rather than a losing one. England throw. And there we have it, a comfortable 2-0 victory for Northern Ireland. That result has really put the cat amongst the pigeons, as they say. So, uh, yeah, as far as the game went, um, the ball ran for Northern Ireland. England couldn't really get into the game. One or two chances, but, uh, yeah, the shots were dragged wide. Nothing really to, to trouble Jennings. So, all in all, a well-deserved 2-0 victory for Northern Ireland that sees them move to the top of the table. Uh, leapfrog in Scotland, leapfrog in England, Wales at the bottom. But the next game could be the crucial one, which I'll come on to a little bit later. So... Compare that to the actual game back in 1976. So England with a very comfortable 4-0 victory. The first goal, a really well-worked move, uh, finished off by Jerry Francis rounding Jennings and 
outside of the right foot, tucking the ball away. Nice goal. Second, stonewall penalty. Mike Shannon, top corner. That was a good finish from the penalty spot. Jennings going the wrong way. The third goal, a bit of a scrappy affair. Pearson, like what he always used to do, tucking the ball away. Great finisher. And uh, yep, yeah, that was his bread and butter, I guess, at that time. And then finally, the fourth goal. Great work by Colin Todd, one of my favourite fullbacks uh, or central defenders. Uh, I remember him playing sort of both when he was at Blues, sort of towards the end of his career. But what a fantastic player Colin Todd was. But great work down that uh, right flank, crossing the ball over. And uh, yeah, great finish by, by Mike Shannon. But yeah, another good finish. So two goals for Shannon and a comfortable 4-0 victory. So that sort of sets things up, ready for the final round of games. And the next game. So we have Wales hosting Northern Ireland. So a victory for Northern Ireland would see them win the championship. A victory for Wales would open it all up and it would mean that the last game between Scotland and England could be the decider. Who knows? Who knows how it's going to pan out? And finally, and as always, if you like the content, don't forget to hit the like button. And of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. And as we say in the Subutio world, keep on flicking. And until next time, bye for now.